allergies seem to be everywhere these days. You can't escape them. But there is one community who appears to be virtually immune, and it's a bit of a mystery for allergists. And that community is the Amish. Only 7% of Amish kids test positive for common allergens. That is low. For context, 8 to 10% of regular American kids have asthma, but Amish children? just one to two percent. There's actually one Amish community in Northern Indiana that researchers say is the least allergic population ever measured in the modern world. So what's their secret? Scientists are trying to figure out what the Amish are doing differently and hoping to bottle whatever magic they've got going on. But the answer seems to be their old school farming lifestyle. And here's where it gets interesting. We've known for ages that our modern world is making us sick. Cities, pollutions, processed food, spending all day indoors. In fact, the first officially recognized allergy, hay fever, was even known as the aristocratic disease because it mainly hit the upper class. In 1989, immunologist David Strachan proposed the hygiene hypothesis, basically stating that being exposed to bugs and bacteria early on actually strengthens your immune system. The same study found that kids from big families had way less hay fever and eczema. But the Amish take this to another level researchers compare them to the Hutterites, another farming community with similar genetics and lifestyle. Yet, the Hutterites had four times more asthma. The only difference? Hutterite kids weren't exposed to barn animals until they were old enough to work the farms at around 12, whereas Amish kids were in and out of cow barns since day one. But there's more. When they tested Amish homes, the house dust had seven times more microbes. Their farm dust was packed with protective proteins from all kinds of different microbes and plants. When inhaled, those proteins coat your nose and airways like armor, creating a protective barrier that prevents inflammation. Obviously, we can't all move to farms, so researchers are trying to identify these protective proteins and figure out how to recreate the benefits without the lifestyle. But imagine if they could crack that code. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today I Learned Science at T I L Science.